today we're actually going to start using the engineering design process ourselves. Who can remind us what the first step in the engineering design process is? Asking. AJ. Asking. What other asking did Yi Min do in the book? Wait, are you talking about the little girl? Yeah. Um, she asked her grandfather about the, like, uh, <coughs> the Great Wall. Are the only questions that Yi Min asked to her grandfather? What mortar was the best? They did. They were trying to figure out mortar. What do you think they need to know in order to know what mortar is going to work? How much of every ingredient you should put in the mixture. What are the ingredients? There's sand and clay and... Um, sand and clay and what was the third material Yi Min used? Yeah, Quinn. Soil. Soil. What do you guys know about sand and soil and clay? Soil is dirt. Clay is what you use to make a lot of stuff. Sand you find on the beach a lot or right. in hot areas. So you guys know a little bit about these materials because they're earth materials that are around us all the time, right? <coughs> but do you know enough about them to be able to make a mortar? No. Probably. <laughs> Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Most likely. Maybe. Okay. Well, so today what we're going to do is we're going to ask questions about these earth materials. In your folders, the paper that looks like this, properties of dry earth materials. I'm going to be bringing you bags of dry materials. So you're going to take a close look, work together with your partner to fill out that sheet about the dry materials. We heard in the story that the sand would fall apart. Okay, can we have the soil, please? Yeah. The, the, the sand has yeah. lots and lots and lots of tiny little grains and like sand. Well, sand's actually a whole bunch of little rocks just ground Yeah, up. just like ground it up. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, let's go through this together. The soil particles, were they small, medium, or large? Large. Large. Were they all the same size? No. No. How many of you saw sticks or little bits of other stuff in your soil? That's pretty normal. If you see soil outside, it's going to have bits of other stuff in it, too. What color was the soil? Black. Black. There's Black. some white in it. With bits of white. OK. And the last question, how sticky is this earth material? Not. Not sticky. Not sticky. OK. So if we've got that, guess what? Now we're going to check out wet earth materials. So you're going to get three cups for your table. One of sand, one of clay, one of soil. I want you to touch them. I want you to see what they feel like. The particles feel big and they look big. I know what the best material to make it is. I feel like it's clay. Definitely clay. Real. See, let's go through this property sheet together. What about clay? What do you think about uh, the particle size? Do you guys think they're all the same size? Gage, do you think the clay particles were all the same size? No. AJ and I were talking about it, and I had him rub. Did any of you guys rub the clay between your fingers? Yeah. Could you feel different particles when you did that? No. Yeah. You did? OK, maybe. Color of the wet clay? Gray. Gray? Sticky? Not sticky? A little sticky? It looks very sticky. Very sticky. We're going to ask more questions. We're still on the asking part so that we can imagine our mortars for our own walls. I'm going to carry one of these trays over to this table. I'd like you guys to gather around the table. The last question on both the dry materials page and the wet materials page was about stickiness, right? Why do you think that that would be an important question to ask when you're thinking about mortar? Yes, Poppy. Because the mortar is like the glue that sticks everything together. You're right. So we're going to be doing some testing tomorrow. And one of the things we're going to test is stickiness. You're going to be making six sandwiches. Two clay sandwiches, two sand sandwiches, and two soil sandwiches. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one scoop full on each piece, and you're going to push them together. You'll have some tape and you're going to write what it is. So this is clay. What are the properties we're looking for in our mortars that we create? Yes. How sticky they are and how strong they are when they Stick. dry. They need to be sticky and they need to be strong. Any questions, again, before we go back to our stations? No. 
I'll give you the soil and you give me the thing. I think that the soil. clay is gonna stick the most. Yeah, cause like so the and clay. the sand's gonna stick the second most. I I think the sand's gonna stick, stick the least. I think the soil is because it's like really loose. Somebody remind me why we made these sandwiches. Who can raise their hand and tell me? Anna. To see which ones stick better and are stronger. Stick better and are stronger. So we're gonna be testing properties of each earth material, right? Does anybody have any ideas how we might test the stickiness of these earth materials when, we, when they're dry? Like you could like put it up at the same height and like count the seconds of how long it stays up. So, um, and then you could write that down. That is a great idea. I think we should do just that. And when we come in tomorrow, we will test both the stickiness and the strength of those sandwiches. So one person in each table or pair, depending on how you're set up, is going to pick up the sandwich, not from the bottom tile, but from the top tile. You're gonna lift it up, and as a class, we'll count together how long before the, the tile falls if it falls, it might not fall, falls down, okay? And we're also gonna pay close attention to the mortar when that happens. So I'm gonna do soil. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 28, 29, 30. All right, let's stop there. I don't know, if, I, if it didn't break in the first 30 seconds, it might not, all right? So you guys understand what we're gonna be doing? So yeah. Any questions about this? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, stop. Let's take turns sharing what we saw happening there. Poppy, start for us. How many seconds did your test make it? It didn't even come off the ground. So we had zero. What about you guys? Nine. Zero? Two zeros? Yep. Zero. Zero. How many seconds did your guys make it? 26. 26? 27? 30. 30? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. What does that tell us about the soil's property of stickiness? So it's inconsistent. It's not always super sticky, right? Yeah. So identify the person in your table who's going to do sand. Go. One, two. Did anybody make it to two? No. Mm. So what does that tell us about sand's stickiness? It is not sticky. All right, somebody's going to do clay. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 28, 29, 30. All right, we could probably go on a long time. I think we got pretty consistent results. Did anybody not make it to 30 seconds there with the clay? So what does that tell us about clay? Clay is awesome. Super, super sticky. Well, so today we're gonna do another test called the earthquake test. All right, so what I'd like you to do is to come around this table for me, right here, but leave a spot for me. All right, so all of you guys should have this on your table at this point, right? And if you notice, there is an arc right here. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. See that arc? And then there's two lines. You're doing the, the earthquake test for, on a sandwich. You're going to shake it five times, back and forth between these lines. I want you to go back to your tables. First, test the soil, all right? And we're all going to stop and share results before we test the other two. Only soil, yes. Somebody report out for me. We did soil and we shook it, but all it did was move. It didn't break. It didn't break apart. Their sandwich didn't break apart. Raise your hand if you had the same experience as Madison. Okay, raise your hand if you had a different experience than Madison. What happened to your sandwich? So we learned what about the strength of soil? The pro that property of soil as a material. It was strong for some groups and not as strong for others. So we got inconsistent results, right? For some groups it was pretty strong and some groups it wasn't. Okay, are you guys ready to test sand? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well. Who can report out what their experience was? Zach. The mortars, like, kind of, it, like, it fell out. It fell out. It crumbled out. It fell out, like, in front of it when it was holding, like, back. Okay. Izzy? Ours didn't break as well. It didn't break. Did any mortar fall out? A little bit of mortar fell out. So pretty consistently, what was our experience with the sand? The mortar just like falls out. It just falls out. It's not very strong. All right, who's testing clay? So it survived the earthquake test? How did it go? Who can report out? Anna, over there, I haven't heard much from you. How did yours do on this, on this test? The clay? Yeah. It did fine. It did fine, it didn't fall apart. So what does that tell us about clay's strength? Michael. It's very, very strong. Do you think any one of these materials on their own is going to make a great mortar? No. 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 Right? Because sometimes they crack, sometimes they stick, sometimes they crumble, sometimes they fall out. So individually, none of these materials have all the properties we need to make a strong mortar. So what do you think we need to do? Mix them together. Mix them together. So tomorrow, when we come in, we're going to be thinking about what we've learned about these earth materials, trying to imagine how we might create a mortar that would be a strong mortar for a wall. Once they sort of got this concept of properties and materials, then we tested the properties. And I thought that that was a really good step for them to take, impressing upon them that they needed to understand the properties of the individual materials before they could think about how to combine them to make a mortar. And that was something that real engineers would have to do too. So I felt like that was a really logical step in the course of the curriculum.